Mm -mm. That bitch rolling? Mm-mm. Look what? it out. Oh, yeah. I forgot to do that. It's on YouTube. It's not personal. It is. No, it's not. I'm a big man, baby. I don't know if I can fit in a frame. <laughs> and it's not as bright. Ooh. She got okay. all types of complaints this evening. That's better. Oh. Yeah. That's better? Yeah. It's okay. Like <laughs> yeah. Alright. Check me out. So. Alright, so. A continuation of what we were just talking about in the kitchen while I was whipping this up. Um. So, what I was kind of just explaining to her, we had a whole like little conversation after watching Alex checking Alex's checking video to me. I actually was gonna watch it by myself. I was in there, and then like I stopped it like ten seconds in, and I was like, I kind of want you to watch this with me just because, like, I want her to be involved. Um, I feel like. No, I'm glad you did because now we're on the same page. Yes, yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Like, the sense i guess of accountability like she knows what the fuck my coach is telling me like you know like if need be and i told her i don't need this but like if need be she can check me you know no, he's unless i'm just going crazy you know just like fucking trying to get mcdonald's and shit huh? be wild after that but um yeah so what i was kind of just telling her we were just talking about like for somebody who is a you know, just like a lifestyle kind of person just wants to live a healthier lifestyle. Maybe who is just starting their bodybuilding career. How I eat on my meal plan and the level of adherence and attention to detail would be solid. Like I eat probably, I would say 75 and eight, between 75 and 80% on my meal plan. Um, and kind of just to give you guys a picture of what that's like. I had there were five out of the seven days this week where I ate on plan, six meals, got my meals in. Other two days, um, which are built-in cheap meals, actually turned into cheap days, which is not okay. Um, so it's just like, I pride myself. It is a pretty big part of my identity of just knowing like when I want to lock in, have the determination to do something like when I say I'm going to do something, I fully intend on do it, doing it, and I always do it. I always get it done. So it's just kind of like a, like what the fuck are you doing, Devin? Like when you know better, when I know I have more than enough ability to lock the fuck into a meal plan, it's just like what am I, what am I doing when I'm falling short of that? Um, and it's just like. The things that I kind of negotiate in my head is like, it's the off season. I want to enjoy some food, not feel like I'm on prep all the time. I want to enjoy food with my girl. Like I want to, you know, like build, I guess like fun things, memories, whatever, like around eating out, like shit like that. Like I enjoy food. I love food. I love eating out, shit like that. It's just like, it is hard for me to keep that in its place. I am a very, very, very all or nothing person. So it's hard for me to have that balance, which is just something I wanna, <laughs> it's just something I, I need to work on. And we only got five, five, four to five weeks left in this off season. So it's like, dude, like lock the fuck in so we can have some calories to start off with. Alex just told me like, I'm just giving, like the last few weeks, I'm just giving him random data that he can't do anything with. Which I completely feel, I completely agree. Um, so it's like, I talk about wanting to be the compete with the best in the world. I talk about how much I love the sport of bodybuilding, how I feel like it literally has given me my purpose. Like, at the end of the day, if I break it down, it's just like, act like it, dude, with your meal plan. Um, okay, let me let me not give y'all any leeway to get it fucked up or twisted in any sort of way. You know what I'm about to say? Right? No. Okay. I train like an animal. Like, I do, this, is, this is solely a meal plan issue, an inconsistency in meal plan. I don't miss workouts. I am a beast in the fucking gym. I have no issue saying that because I train like an animal. Um, every, every workout, every leg day, every, every, it's every, every workout. Um, it's just, you know, I need to nail this shit. So we are about to go to Miami in like 
18 days. So what I told Alex was, dude, for the next two and a half, three weeks, 18 days, you will not see me have a cheat meal. You will not hear about it. And yeah, that's what it's gonna kind of take for me to like lock back in mentally, to have that, build that confidence in myself. Like, dude, like you can follow a fucking meal plan. So we got that. Um, we'll be in Miami like three days. I don't plan on following any kind of meal plan. This is kind of like a prepare for prep kind of thing. Like mentally, you know, just kind of eat vacation. Like we're in Indiana right now, so we're snowed the fuck in. It's, there's 10 inches of snow on my fucking uh, balcony. But yeah, so we'll be in Miami a few days, come back, have like two weeks, and then prep begins. So, <coughs> um, I guess this is two, three weeks of a lot of chicken, ground beef, and rice, and then a little break, and then four months of a lot of chicken, ground beef, and rice. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fine. It's okay. <laughs> we're, we're working on her talking skills in my videos. I'm trying to explain to her that this is our YouTube channel. Um, everybody meet Mariah. Um, I've been on here before. Yeah. Yeah. She, she gonna be around, so know the face. Put a name to it. No, when you talk about bodybuilding, what do I have to say? Anything. I'm, I've been trying to tell her, like, I feel like I'm a little too serious on here. Like, I want it to be not just bodybuilding. Like... Primarily bodybuilding, obviously, but like I want to, you know, like have some giggles in this motherfucker. So like, say what, like she's grabbing my titty, like that. Like do it, do whatever. That's what I'm trying to say. But uh, we're gonna eat our little meals um, real quick before my camera's blinking. Let me, let me show you real quick. What we do. So last video I showed y'all the front room, how we kind of turned my office. Never ever ever get eggshell. Uh, I've been telling everyone about my mistake. My walls and that bitch are shiny. It shows every. You say oh yeah, okay. Semi gloss. Yeah, I don't ever. I don't know what I'm talking about. I like when we like when we paint, like she is the orchestrator. Um, but yeah, so we we did cloud white in here, and yeah, you know, like white walls boring. No, this shit is clean. It is a true cloud white, whatever that means. Um, and we went with matte instead of semi gloss. So like the semi gloss shows all the perfections, like the bullshit in the walls, like basically matte or flat. Right? <laughs> yeah. Makes this shit look extremely flat. Like, it, it, it makes it the room look bigger. I let them know. Yeah. Let, let them know. We're talking about painting now. That's, that's where you can shine. It's okay. No, 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 no. Let me know. Let me know. I let them know. Work. I yeah. did the work. That's it. Okay. I so, so, just so y'all know, she is clean with it. Um, and she insisted that we do this. So, but uh, yeah, this is kind of just the progress we're making. We're going to go back over my office with matte or flat just because like I don't want shiny walls I don't I do not I'm not gonna lie but uh yeah just a little 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 clip to show you guys where my headspace is at I'm excited for prep I'm excited to instill some confidence back in myself with the whole nutrition part of bodybuilding which is huge um but yeah I'm gonna eat my chicken no 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 not chicken I'm gonna eat my ground beef I'm gonna enjoy it because right now I'm like on that that when you know like when you say you're gonna do something then you start immediately trying to do it like I'm on that right now so I'll eat my food. Focused on the paper, not no feeling, show no love. Brand new vibes, get me a light. Count of the money, okay, okay. My buy crib with a view in LA. Niggas keep plotting, they want me to break down. I'm tryna hang with your boo on a few Buy me a flight from the A to the mo Niggas just worried, don't know what to do No Woo! Counter the money Just like that Prep starts tomorrow So I guess this is my little return to YouTube or something like that So let me fill y'all in on the details guys So Alright, so first things first fucking excited like I'm ready to pick this camera up I'm ready to religiously track my food I'm ready to start seeing the shreds come I'm ready to see what we've what kind of like tissue what kind of muscle we've put on to this frame in you know the past nine months and when I say we I actually mean we so my coach Alex and I like this was a group effort a, a very um, calibrated uh, like very deliberate thing like we're we were trying to get me 
big this offseason. You know, it was no question last year peeled. But what I didn't have was the size. This year, I'm a lot bigger. I am currently about to start my prep 17 pounds heavier than what I did last year. The sun's damn near about to set. Every time I talk, I can see like spit coming out of my mouth. You know, like when it's evening and like you see dust particles everywhere. So that's what I'm saying. Hopefully y'all can't pick up on that. But hopefully you can, like who gives a fuck. But yeah, check me out, check me out, check me out. I was, like guys, like I'm just, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. It's been something that I've been looking forward to for nine months. Once I step on stage, it'll be a year. Uh, I said from the jump, like literally the day of the show, getting off the stage, I'm coming back next year and I'm winning that pitch. I'm keeping the same energy all throughout prep. Worked my ass off this off season. Trained harder than I ever have before. Uh, there were definitely some, some highs and some lows in terms of following the meal plan, but like, fuck it, it's prep. Like, fuck all that, there's no excuse, there's no, um, there's no justifications, there's no anything like that. Meal plan, 100%. I am not deviating in any type of way on any aspect of my plan, cardio, posing, training, meals, nothing. The boy gonna be able to say he gave it his all when he steps on that stage. I am in a town I don't really know where I'm at. I'm looking for Starbucks cause I got just some shit to do and I wanna be in a distraction free environment. But um, yeah, so hopefully I don't miss my turn. But one thing I was thinking about earlier today was just like, for me, and I know a lot of other people, I know I'm not special in this aspect, but like, I think more so than most, I always view prep as literally a phase for self-improvement or a catalyst for a phase of self-improvement. Like. And I wanted, to, I wanted to get on here and talk about that in this first video. I think if you really break it down, it's one of the biggest ways that you can just show discipline, prove to yourself that you can be a disciplined person. And I'm gonna say the most cliche shit you've ever heard, but prep is a way to prove to yourself that you can do anything you set your mind to. Like depriving yourself of food when everybody else around you is eating. Going to the gym when you feel like ass. I mean, like, there's so many aspects, so many details of times where you have to choose purpose over pleasure that it's like, how do you not become a better version of you during prep? It's just, I think it's inevitable that it happens. And when you really become conscious of that, I think that you can just use it as a tool to just like, really get to know yourself, really get to know like, how dedicated am I? How much can I really stick to my word? How well can I treat people when I feel like crap? Um, so many things and it's just for me, I know being in prep, being in such a already structured uh, regimen and a structured you know, mentality, it only, want, it only causes me to want to progress, to do more, be more, better myself. Um, and it's, it's honestly like just, a beautiful time for me every time and I think that in itself you can turn prep into a major win in your life without even getting a trophy at the end of the day for your show and that is my goal every prep do it better than I did last time if I'm doing it better than I did last time I damn sure improved as an individual and I would say that I'm in a really pivotal time in my life right now where I feel like I feel the most grown I ever have and what I was just telling Mariah last night is like I have the opportunity to prove so much to myself right now I have more on my plate than I ever have I I mean there's so many things this prep that are on the table that were not in last prep I now have a business and right now I am pushing this business more than I ever have I'm now in a relationship, which I is comes with is literally a whole different dynamic to prep. Prep is a selfish time, and sometimes it's like easy to just like be, you know, <laughs> in your feelings and realizing you're selfish but not doing anything about it. You can't do that in a relationship, a healthy one. The camera cut off in that last clip. The car was full, but 
what I was saying is I think at the end of the day having Mariah to go with me through this prep and you know when I need it to lean on like I think that will be in every end in in every essence of the phrase a game changer somebody who sees you at your highest sees you at your lowest and can be there for you in a, literally a multitude of ways I think is invaluable when you you know like really get in the trenches with it like I'm talking about a few weeks out I'm talking about you know under someone who understands like right now like this comes first like I there's thing like I have to do this for me and somebody who wants to see you succeed wants to see uh, you thrive be happy accomplish something that they know means so much to you I think that that is going to go so far in this prep and be probably a positive so much of a positive thing that I can't see the like full fruition of it right now um, but so there's so much more on my plate you guys got it a relationship a, a business um, you know I'm just like I have more responsibilities I have more bills Th this one's different this one is different uh, one thing that's not different is the work ethic the drive the dedication the mentality that there will be no deviation from the plan um, that's the same but guys it starts tomorrow morning I'm, I know I'm gonna have a hard time going to sleep tonight just with being excited like this is this is what I do this is what like I feel like I'm here for so with that being said guys I'm a running Starbucks I'm gonna be here for a minute I don't know what I'm talking about running for I'm gonna be sitting my ass in there uh, I got a lot of work to get done client stuff got to edit a YouTube video but I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride the journey once again I said at the beginning of last last year's you know uh, kickoff video like Y'all are going to get the good, bad, the ugly, the pretty, the happy, the sad, all that shit. So I would tune in for it. Uh, I hope I see some new faces. And y'all already know, I ain't even got to say it. Like, I appreciate the love, the support, the positive comments, the the, the DMs, the, the likes, the everything. Like, that shit is what it makes it worthwhile. Like, whether you get entertainment from my videos, knowledge, whether you are somebody who's going through a prep, Two, maybe even the same show and just want somebody to relate to like and especially when you get down in the trenches when you're hungry then a bit tired all the time like you're gonna want somebody to relate to trust me I did it all throughout my prep prep videos was all that was on my feed because that's all that I was watching but guys thank you for being here I hope you guys consistently you know stay in tune with this series because I'm ready and I'm ready to come for a motherfucking trophy let's get it